So those controls are built. For that, and now I'm going to build the controls down here. I actually don't really, uh, I guess I could use this one still. I'm going to go to my side view and hit F. It's going to turn show controls. And I'm going to move this pivot point to here. So I just have some, it's easier, it'll be easier for me to work with when I'm positioning things out. Let's duplicate this. Snap to this pin down here. I'm going to check it in my perspective view to make sure I did it right. Interesting. My pivot point didn't work. I got two of them. For, I guess for some strange reason, I something happened. Move the pivot point up. What happened was I actually had two of them, so I just got rid of it, and now I'm working from there. So let's scale this so it kind of works a little bit better. have it wrap this part of the fish and then I have to snap my control back to that joint, the pivot point. Let's duplicate that, move it out. So I snap the pivot point back to the spot after I got the control way I want. Let's control that out. Let's scale that out, I mean. Duplicate that. Duplicate that. Shrink that in. We're going to have it wrapping those joints nicely. See if this pin, uh, this control even does anything. It does. Let's duplicate that. The, this one. Snap it in. Duplicate. Snap. Duplicate. Snap. If this does anything, it's not much. So I don't really care about that. That has a reasonable amount of change. Duplicate and snap. Let's reposition. Cool. That's built pretty nice. That's working. These are called uh, pec fins left. So let's actually, I'm just going to copy that, that name and select all these controls that looks like all the controls that I want paste the name in here so this is pack left that's fine actually I'll do pack uh, underscore left and then hit enter and then let's go and name these two Back. Mid. Uh, front two. Front. Cool, everything's named. Now let's get everything 
connected. These three should be connected to this one, this one and this one. I'm hitting P by the way. This one and this one, P, this one to this one, and this one to this one, P. So that's everything. If you select them all here, let's freeze transformation so they're all zeroed out. Looks like I already did that to that. I always I often forget sometimes about the freeze transformation, so whenever I do remember, I sometimes backtrack. So now if we move this, all those controls stick together. Alright, so that's the lower one. And if you want to color this, there's another way you can color it. There's, I want to show you two other ways to color it here. Um, let's select this one. Let's go to display. Sorry. Yeah, under display, wireframe color. And you got these guys. And then hit apply. And now they're all neat colored that way. You can also double click on this and then just crank it up. And now they're all colored that color too. But if you ever put this on someone else's computer, it'll use their default coloring scheme here. So this will only affect your, like, when you change the colors here, it only affects yours. It won't affect anyone else's if they open it up on their computer. The other way you can do this is hit Control A, which will go to your attribute editor. Let's go to this control uh, under Pelvic L, Display, and then open up Drawing Overrides under Display, Enable, and now you can change the color here. So now it should be color blue. But we want to color yellow. There we are. And now there's yellow. So we got our controls colored. Everything's yellow. And now on the next video, um, I'll do the fins and then we'll do the tail.